What's up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's Mike. And Tyler. And this basketball video is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rib Company. It is our first basketball highlight. It is the first basketball game of the year, 3 p.m., the first game of the 60th annual Pacific Shores Tournament at Redondo Union. Head coach Sharif Montoya got a lot of senior leadership to replace off of last year's championship team, but a pretty good one-two punch. Yeah, those juniors are pretty talented. We will get to them later, but it was Marcus Jackson in the early going, draining threes, seven three-pointers on the day. Pacific Hills out to an early lead. Here you see the Jackrabbits finally their first fluid offensive play. They go to Rashawn Prince, number one. They are very stagnant in the half-court half court offense. They had to get into the transition game a little bit, and they were looking to Prince to give him the spark. Yeah. Ooh, that'll do it. A nice spark there. You see, Prince seems a little bit bothered by the fact that the Bruins are actually beating Polly throughout this game. Vroom, vroom, croom, the little point guard did not have a great game, but they desperately needed these two three-pointers to keep him in it because Jackson just kept pushing the Bruins out in front of the Jackrabbits. Mark Jackson, hand down, man down, Tyler. Fouled on that one for the four-point play, and then it's not deja vu. They find him again. And in this case, it's hand up and what. Another and one from distance for Jackson would not let his team go away until the Rope E takeover, who scored 12 straight points for Polly, just absolutely putting the team on his back. Jackrabbits are down 13 midway through the third quarter. Oh, not anymore. That one brings it within two. His 12 straight for Polly end up putting them up by three points. And you could tell they looked to him, and he delivered. He had 30 points and eight rebounds in this game, which they needed because they didn't retake the lead until the fourth quarter. Yeah, Rashawn was attacking the rim. He left his prints all over the glass, just dealing with contact, taking it hard to the hole, and uh, really giving a spark to the Jackrabbits. But Jackson, oh my goodness, step back and wet him. Pacific Hills not going quietly, and then in relief. R.J. Strickland driving hard to the hole here. That's two of his 10 points. Eight big ones in the fourth quarter. And then Polly defense, Jordan Bell, the bell tower. Get out of here. Can't shoot over that bell tower. Young Skywalker, just uh, one of the better shot blockers in the country at the high school level. And he finished with 10 rebounds and five blocks in this game. This is what Polly fans want to see. Prince DeBell, the big men working together, those two spectacular juniors. They take the eight point sweated over victory a little closer than probably most thought it was going to be, but the Jackrabbits do go 1-0 on the season. They will move on to round two in the winner's bracket, a more league doubleheader as Compton's there too. You want coverage of Polly against Santa Monica on Wednesday night, you know where to be. GazetteSports.com. We are Long Beach Sports. You're not going to stop us.